Good morning, I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com with your forecast for Wednesday, June 26, 2013. We're going to have scattered showers and storms on and off all day today and a better chance overnight. Some of those storms could be severe. We'll talk about that. And do we have an unsettled pattern beginning to set up? Get all the details and more starting right now. All right, looking at our NeoWeather 3D Max Doppler radar this morning. Well, we don't have too much going on across to Ohio. We do have a diminishing area of showers. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Right now, we have this cluster of showers and thunderstorms out near the uh, Chicago area, also into southern Illinois as well. Some of those are diminishing. But basically, what we have right here is an area of low pressure that is spinning and it will be tracking basically kind of to the east and southeast a little bit across the state later tonight and into early Thursday morning. And if you're flying out towards Chicago this morning, boy, it's going to be a long day if you're trying to get the flight uh, to Chicago Hare or Chicago Midway. Uh, the storms this morning are likely causing delays out in this area, and that means flight delays going into and out of those airports. Um, I, I would call your airline before you go to the airport, see what those delays are doing, and... Uh, whether or not your flight's been canceled or not. But right now, Chicago getting hit pretty good with a couple rounds of storms this morning. Now, uh, this area here that's it moving into northern Indiana, uh, this looks to be diminishing a little bit as it continues east. Uh, it's having a hard time. I think it's just getting too far away from the low pressure center. Uh, but we're going to continue to watch it just in case. This may move into northwest Ohio, bring some storms there this morning. Uh, let's zoom into our neck of the woods here, and we can see here's this area of showers that uh, we're going to see here shortly uh, as it continues to load. There they are, and you can see they're rapidly diminishing as they pull off to the east, and they're pretty much gone. And we'll go ahead and stop this, and we'll take a look at what's going on right now. Here we have a few showers across northern and central Summit County. That'll just bring a brief rain shower and that's going to be about it. Also another shower across uh, southwestern uh, Stark County, northern Tuscarawas County. Those are all moving off to the east so you expect those showers basically uh, to stay south of Route 30 and uh, just north of Dover, New Philadelphia basically. And we have clearing out to the west. Yep, right in here. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll just draw our line kind of right where that clearing is at. Right in through here. And you can see pretty clear off to the west here. Temperatures already uh, indicative of some clearing 73 Port Clinton, 70 Finley, 71 Lima, 71 Defiance, and uh, it's going to get pretty warm. I think what's going to happen is we're going to see some of those clouds to diminish as they move east still, and we're going to see a, a pretty decent point uh, during the day where we're going to have some sunshine and temperatures are really going to get warm too. So we'll be seeing that then afternoon and evening thunderstorms and uh, thunderstorms also overnight. Temperatures right around 70 all across the region, give or take just a couple of degrees. And we'll be getting pretty warm today into the upper 80s. On our NeoWeather future cast radar here, um, we're going to take a look at some showers and storms when they're going to move in. Uh, right now we have this set for 8 a.m. You can see it does show that diminishing area of storms. Uh, this is probably the most favorable model run right now. As we advance here through the day, you can see some of the showers. I don't think the showers out here are going to intensify in Ohio. I think we're going to stay dry. And here we are at about noontime right now. You see pretty dry. I think we'll be sunny. And as we get towards uh, 2 o'clock, uh, we can see that some showers may start de developing around central Ohio. Look at the line out towards uh, Indiana. This is going to do some different things as this low pressure moves through. So here we are at 8 o'clock. You can see showers and storms. These are pushing off to the northeast. This line here is pushing off to the southeast. Our low is back here. So everything is spinning counterclockwise around the low. As we move into the evening hours, this kind of breaks up a little bit, but then it kind of gets its act back together around midnight. And basically through the nighttime hours, this low uh, starts pulling through the state and we see showers and storms throughout the night here we are at 8 a.m thursday morning showers and storms around the area some of those could still be a little strong and the storms according to this model really don't get out of here till about two three o'clock tomorrow afternoon uh, now there are some differences in some of the models especially the high resolution models that we look at um, 
this is pretty much the average more or less of all of them on this particular model but we're going to continue to monitor this is the stuff that came in uh, really early this morning uh, it's not the best uh, model data around but um, we're going to continue to monitor it and uh, post updates to our Facebook page and also on Twitter throughout the day so you want to be sure to stay tuned to Neoweather for the very latest looking at the almanac for today a high yesterday was 91 degrees a low 72 our average high 81, the average low 63. The record high today 99, the record low 47. At the time we made the graphic, we had about a tenth of an inch of rainfall for yesterday. Cleveland got much more than that uh, later last uh, night with a lot of rain coming through. We're at about three and three quarters of an inch for the month and 16.33 uh, inches for the year. Still running a little bit of a deficit, but I bet we made up a good bit of that last night. Sunrise at 5.55 a.m. and sunset is at 9.05 p.m. All right, so we do have this severe weather threat again we've been talking about. Here's what we're thinking. A low risk for northeastern Ohio, much of northwestern Ohio, down into east central Ohio, and a medium risk for much of central and southwestern Ohio. Uh, damaging winds and large hail is pretty much going to be the theme here throughout. Uh, pretty much the difference is that we have isolated tornadoes possible through central and southwestern Ohio. Now we may need to change this graphic a little bit as uh, some of our morning weather data begins to come in here uh, at about 8 a.m. Uh, we're going to start getting some data from about 8 to 10 a.m. So stay tuned to our fan page on Facebook, facebook.com slash neoweather, also Twitter as well. Um, and we're probably going to have to update this a little bit and refine it slightly. I think uh, some of the uh, strongest severe weather will probably shift uh, to the south and west of us just a little bit. But we're still going to see some severe storms later on uh, this afternoon and this evening. Again, damaging winds and large hail will be the primary threats. Also, don't forget, with all the rain we got yesterday, we're going to be talking about flooding, too. It's not going to take much for some areas to begin flooding. We already have some flooding going on this morning, and we could see that again. So you'll also want to watch out for uh, rising waters. With that, our forecast for this Wednesday, uh, we'll, we'll start out mainly cloudy this morning. We will start to clear out a little bit later into the afternoon before storms start to pick up uh, later again during the uh, afternoon and evening hours. A high 87, very uh, muggy and humid out there once again today. Winds will be out of the south about 5 to 10. We start your morning off at 8 a.m. A few showers around, mainly uh, from about Akron and Point South. There's a little cluster of showers moving through. It's diminishing. It's not going to last much longer. Otherwise, mainly cloudy temperature right around 70. I think we'll clear out some by 11 a.m., partly cloudy, 78. Uh, 78. By 2 p.m., we'll have some scattered storms around. We'll be around 83. And by 5 p.m., I'm going with isolated storms at this point. It looks like uh, we'll have a, a, some uh, mid-afternoon storms. Those will diminish before we pick up storms later again in the evening. So that brings us into overnight tonight. Lows drop to around 65. I think we'll be partly cloudy by 7 p.m. I think we're going to stay dry. Storms then begin to move in from the west around 9. And strong storms are possible through the overnight hours and into Thursday morning. And that brings us to our seven-day forecast. Morning thunderstorms, those could persist into the afternoon depending on how quick this low gets out of here. Our high 82 and pretty much just an unsettled pattern for the next uh, six days uh, with scattered afternoon storms possible on Friday, 78. An isolated storm possible on Saturday in the afternoon at 75. A uh, little bit better chance for storms on Sunday. Partly cloudy, some afternoon scattered storms possible, 78. We're back to 80 on Monday, partly cloudy with some afternoon st uh, scattered storms possible. And Tuesday, much the same. Storms later in the day, otherwise partly cloudy and a high of 78 degrees as uh, the East Coast starts entering into this unsettled pattern where we look like we're going to pick up some storms uh, mid-late afternoon. We pretty much clear out overnight, which is why storm chances are so small. Those are pretty much early evening storm chances. And low temperatures right around the 60 degrees, give or take just a few degrees. Be sure to stay with NeoWeather.com for all of the latest today and throughout the next several days. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash NeoWeather. Also on Twitter as well to receive those weather updates. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching today's forecast. Get the latest weather at newweather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Newweather.com, Ohio's home for weather.